This paper is entitled Code Switching and Dedicol Buzier's Hitam Putih TV Show. My name is Risa and on behalf of my colleague and former student Mutiara Citra Putri Taji, I would like to present our research. This paper is presented at 2020 UMG Eshik on 9th and 10th December 2020. This study investigated the use of code switching in a television talk show in Indonesia. Data for the study were from three episodes of this television show and the textual based data was analyzed by identifying and categorizing the use of code switches. It was found in the research that there were certain code switch types and also code switch functions and it was concluded that the use of code switching is not only to help communicate the message but also most importantly to build rapport between the communicators. This present study was based on the thoughts and knowledge that for a bilingual the access for both more than lang one language of codes were ma are made possible and bilinguals could use these codes or languages languages interchangeably to help them in communication. The change of the codes or languages could sometimes be used or be done spontaneously and the um, action of changing from one language to another, which was called code switch, is considered as a particular dialect or bilingual habits or attitudes in multilanguage society. And code switching could also be used to convey messages in different ways. There was several previous studies in code switching and these studies showed that code switching was used at the level of words and could also be used in the level of sentence or even block of speech. And the development of technology enabled people to communicate in different codes or languages. Previous studies also showed that there were several functions identified in the use of code switching including talking about a particular topic, quoting somebody else, being empathic about something, interjection, repetition, useful clarification, intention for clarifying speech content for interlocutors, and also for the function of expressing group identity. We also found that in previous studies, code switching was also used to create the impression as being of intellectual, certain intellectual standard, of being part of certain intellectual group of people, or to belong to higher social group. In doing this study, there was the procedure engage and these are the steps the first one was observing the episodes that had code switching and then transcribing the dialogues because we use lexical or textual based data and after that reviewing the selected utterances or lexical words in the code switching and finally further analyze the use of code switching in terms of functions and other related factors. From the data, it could be found that the code switching used in all episodes are as shown in this table. And it can be seen that the highest function used in code switching is for referential function and that these code switching was 
used 78 times in the type of intersentential switching. The types of code switching used in all of the episodes as the data show consisted of 54% intrasentential code switching. These are the parts in the sentence in which the other language or the other code is being used. So there is the switch inside the, the sentence. Whereas the switch or the change of the use of the language or code outside the boundary of a sentence, which means that the other code or language was used when saying or express expressing another sentence, was used 34% in all the data. The intersentential code switching occurred 49 times in all the data. Whereas type switching or the use of other language or code at the end of the sentence as behaving as a tag or just for a certain expressions are found to be used 12% or 17 times of occurrence in all the data. In terms of functions of code switch, the data showed that the code switching is mostly used for referential function, which means the use of certain terminology, certain word, certain phrase or expressions, refer exactly to the terminology in English or in code or language other than Indonesian. So when an interlocutor or a speaker or a person talks in Indonesian, they would switch to use certain terminologies, words, expressions that were in English language just because the words and terminologies were originated from English. So this referential function dominates the use of code switching in the data. Code switching also used for talking about particular topic. In this case, the use of English was identified to be dominant when the speakers were talking about social media, about entertainment, management of the artist, management or management of entertainment industry. And they were using English when talking about this particular topic. There were also other function in which English is used as the alternate code when they are talking in Indonesian and then when they talk about a certain concept of culture they switch into English and this data showed a frequency of 11.3 percent of all the code switch data. It was also found to be interesting that code switch was also chosen because speakers wanted to express their feelings and emotions better. When the speakers showed surprise or showed strong emotions, the interjections used were not of Indonesian language but of English. And the data showed an occurrence of 28 times of these expressions and um, emotion expressions and also feelings and it takes 16.7 percent of all the data in this excerpt we could see that the speaker said wow perhaps you spam it like when you do online shopping are you 
So the word spam and the phrase online shopping state to be used as in their English terminologies. From this excerpt, the, the word online shopping is connected with the word spam. These code switches happen inside the boundary of the sentence and these occurrences, these two occurrences of code switching were considered as inter intra-sentential code switching inside the boundary of a sentence. And the use of this code switching were related to the topic of the conversation, which was about doing online business. In this context, when the speaker, the girl or the lady speaking, Nikta Gina, used the terminologies, both the phrase online shopping and the word spam, the hearers were all responded to be of knowledge of what were, were said. That means the interpretation of this situation was that the hearers were all familiar with the topic and the codes or the English terms and phrase used by the interlocutor or the speaker in this case, Niktagina. So when the speaker used this code, the hearers could directly connect to what was being said, to the idea. In more specific, the use of the word spam refers to making intentional negative comments or intentional information on somebody's social media account and usually caused unpleasant reactions, feelings, or even negative effects to the account. So this was considered sometimes by people as cyber attack. So the word spam was not something that was expected in online shopping or in someone's social media. The word spam does not have direct equivalent in Indonesian. So in Indonesian language, the word spam would be paraphrased or described, but not directly translated into another word in Indonesian. So this is probably why the interlocutor kept the word spam rather than explaining it in Indonesian what spam was meant as an action. So this, the word spam was kept or used in its original English word because it represents exactly what happened in the context of social media and online shopping and because all of the audience could directly and easily connect to what happened in the situation. In conclusion, the analysis has shown the types and function of code switching as used in the episodes of Hitam Putih television show. It could be all, it could be seen that most code switching was categorized as intra-sentential code switch or happened inside the boundary of a sentence. And by doing this, English was used interchangeably and quite comfortably by the speakers. The prevalence of using this type of code switch could be concluded as an indication of English-Indonesian bilingual speakers as beginning to be more common in television shows in Indonesia. Therefore, the use of English terminologies were often chosen as they are more widely known by the hearers, by the audience of talk show, television talk show. 
Finally, it could be concluded that code switching in this present study is shown to be used as both practical, efficient, and also more engaging in terms of building rapports between interlocutors, between speaker and hearers. Thank you very much for this useful.